Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The drop-down box, called the drop-down menu in front page 2000, is a field you can use to provide visitors with a list of options to select from while saving space in your page. In this dialog box, you can give the field a name, a height, a tab order, and select whether or not visitors can have multiple selections. The name and tab order work in the same way as they do for other fields. To add items to your drop-down box, click the Add button. Then, you'll add items one at a time until you're finished. So let's say, for example, this has to do with the color of a shirt that a customer might be ordering. Then, if the value to be returned to you when a visitor selects this choice is different than the choice itself, you can specify that value by selecting the Specify Value checkbox and entering a different value. Then, you can select an initial state for this particular choice, either selected or not selected. Only one choice from the drop-down box can be selected. When you're finished, click OK. Then, you'd click Add again to add your other choices. If you'd like the first option in the drop-down box to say something like pick one or select one, you will have to add that as a choice. Also, you'll need to select that option and use the Move Up button to move it all the way to the top of the list. Later in the lesson, we'll look at how you can disable that first option as some data that can be returned to you, forcing your visitors to select one of the other options. Then, in the Height field, you can specify the number of list items you want to display at a time, before your visitors click the drop-down box. To save room, one is the best choice. Then, if you want your visitors to be able to make multiple selections by holding the control key on their keyboard while they click their different options, change the Allow Multiple Selections option to Yes. However, if you want them to only be able to select one option at a time, be sure this is at No. When you're finished, click OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.